So in this video, we are going to see what is the difference between super type and subtype. Take an example, we have an employees and we have the part-time employee and we have the contract employee. So if you look at the part-time employee, the part-time employee may work on hourly basis. They have a contract period. They may have a um, external organization as their uh, suppliers. If you look at the full time, you know, they have a salary, monthly salary. They have all the benefits of this organization and they have the a special band. So employee is part of a part-time employee is a part of the employee and contract employee also is part of employee. So the super type is the employee and subtype is contract employee or maybe the uh, permanent employee. So how do you represent that ease of type in the Airbnb tool is our next uh, task. So we have made to our Airbnb data modeler tool. Here I am going to show you how to represent the super type and subtype. And the context is like we have an employee table and employee. There are two types of employee, employee, permanent employee and contract employee. A permanent employee is also part of the employee, but in a contract employee maybe belong to some external organization and uh, they are actually a uh, resource to our organization. So how I will represent actually this employee is again part of permanent employee is part of employee and contract employee also part of employee. So there is a relationship between uh, both all of them using the employee ID. Okay. And they let me implement that for uh, that first. So I will do uh, one thing and let me go to the non identifying I will put the relationship between external and the contract employee because they are non identifying the ex contract employee can be part of a organization or not part of a organization no matter and uh, now I want to say this per permanent employee is again uh, is a sub, sub subtype of uh, employee so I have to uh, add this subcategory option so I will add subcategory option and uh, I I set up a connection between the employee and the permanent employee and also I connection between the employee and the contract employee. So we have uh, set up connections. So how, what is a discriminator? I can set the discriminator using this property. I, uh, I can say that employee type will identify the, will work as a, a discriminator. So we have this, uh, this is the, a super type and subtype representation in Airbnb tool. Now, uh, yeah, if you look at the logical physical model, you know, this is the representation at a table level. We have employee table, permanent employee table, contract employee table, and uh, they are related using the uh, the for the employee ID as a foreign key. As we are designing, uh, you may identify. You may want to change this setup. You may want to resolve these. All these are possible. Like uh, you can, there are actions that we can do uh, using the transformation. The transformation, you can resolve all transformation. If you do that, uh, it will go. Now, this is something similar to what you saw in the physical data model. There is no super type, subtype uh, representation. This uh, one to many kind of relationship to resolve them like uh, to super type subtype roll up what is the roll up means like for example uh, later on you understand no no there is no need to maintain separate table for permanent and contract why can't you put it together so um, if you want to change that at a model level the script level uh, of course let's go back and uh, select this uh, representation i do the super type roll up so there's a wizard to do that I will do that and now one part is done again I have the second connection I go I select super type uh, roll up uh, so this has changed uh, the pattern now we know there is an employee table and there is also external organization but there are no no more uh, the the permanent and the um, uh, contract employee table so there is only they all manage with the employee type and you know the salary and you know the band and hourly rate all are put together in a single table so again if you need uh, you can come back and you can do the the, the resolve all the transmission 
or uh, you can go back to the same state and this is a uh, non identifying relationship it can be or cannot be connected to an external relationship so this is uh, what I, uh, what i would like to want to tell you about the super type and sub type uh, in the arvin data model hope you understood that <laughs>